In regards to like some of the um some of the labels, touring companies, and artists, you know that you've been involved with or that you've worked with, mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things that you've done with you know certain companies or certain artists? Yeah, I mean over the years I've worked with a few a few really really good um record labels. Like my first sort of bigger record label I worked with was Ministry of Sound, and that was at the you know it still is like the fact That's that big, I got man. to mix one of those annual CDs is uh. I've got a few copies in my drawer that I like keep there to show my kids one day. <laughs> so what, what year did you do? You're talking about that compilation. The compilation, the annual compilation. Oh, yeah. you did one I of did them. A, I did the, the 20, 2015, I think. Fucking hell, that's pretty big, man. How many yeah. copies of that gets distributed? I have nationally? no idea, but it was one of the last ones they did. So I kind of like, I think they did one after me and then they, they, that was it. Because obviously oh, wow. CDs, who buys CDs anymore? It's all digital now. Yeah, exactly. So you so got in just on the tail end. I got in just in time. Yeah, you want to keep a few copies of that, man. So I got a few copies to show the grandkids, you know. They'll be like, what's that? CD? <laughs> <laughs> so did they? Did you ever get numbers of like units that you that you guys sold? No, that no idea. I don't know what kind of numbers. I mean, back, but obviously back in the day, those CDs, everyone had a copy, man. I, I From the year I like kind of got into music, I had one of those, you know, that and the, the club, the... the the sessions, I think it was something like that, mm. had those Ministry of Sound CDs, and yeah, that was the first record label that I sort of got a chance to work with, and they put out some of my first like, I guess songs that got like attention, mm. you know, more than just sort of like small little things. Um, I had a track called Whistle Bounce that came out with them, and got to make a little film clip and stuff for it, which was a bit of fun. Um, and then from there, that was um, they sort of were working in, but it was kind of like a, it was a like an agreement, I guess, like between I was releasing music with Dim Mac, but they were they were happy with it from a touring side because they had my touring. So like you you know this is this is good. I got to DJ over in America a bit more and got to do like the Tomorrowland Festival and stuff like that. So obviously got to you know meet Stevie Yoki and work with a, t a heap of their talented artists and stuff on there, which was really cool. Um, <clears throat> and. I've worked with, I mean, I, I can't sit here and list every single record label because I'll probably forget one. But those, those those two were probably the biggest ones that people would know. The, 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 the last oh, yeah.